speaking of uh, moon wizards, let's talk about uh, moon wizards. Moon wizards. Let's talk about uh, Destiny because Destiny, the with the Taken King, has a ton of new crap. What's and, Destiny? Uh, Destiny is a game where you shoot things for literally hours I've over heard of that game. and over and over again, and you get stuff for it. Sounds like the best game Sounds ever. like my type of game, right? <laughs> but uh, we, we like Destiny. Yeah. We're big Destiny fans. I here. enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. It's really fun. Jacob is probably our biggest... Uh, yeah, I probably waste way too many hours on there, but yeah, I enjoy it. Well, let's talk about some new stuff from the Taken King. I feel like this is, you know, a big enough subject for a topic in its own that yeah. came out of Gamescom. Okay. Um, so a lot of stuff came out at Gamescom and Game Informer had like a whole cover issue they, on Destiny. I think Destiny. they have a whole month of... Uh, news yeah from their website they had like an exclusive like a week at Bungie just yeah. playing the expansion so yeah well um since you probably uh, we both read the article um a few things you know important things stuck out to me but um I'm just gonna ask you um since you're like way more into it than I am what is what is the biggest thing that you've heard out of all this news coming out that makes you excited to to dive back into destiny again with new content just one thing yeah, I know what it uh, is for me. Well, what's yours? Um, yeah, you go first. The main thing is that how they're re- revamping the leveling system. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I have not read into this yet. I'm going to read the Game Informer article about it tomorrow. Um, but kind mean? of explain to me all, all I the basic synopsis I've heard is that they're taking away the light level and you level up kind by of. just literally doing stuff in Destiny right. now. Correct. Well, the new cap is going to be forty. So mm-hmm. leveling one to forty is just doing everything. Right. Like getting experience. Once you get to forty. There's still light, but everything has light now. Like your ghost, like your cape, like mm-hmm. everything has light now. Really? And your I light's gonna that. it's not gonna increase your level, like make you forty one. It's just gonna determine like the difficulty of things. So like say you have a light level of two hundred and like on the like a strike will be like required maybe so much light. Right. And it'll be like a factor of like if you're ready to do something. Uh-huh. Is this in game informer? Yes. What the well, heck? <laughs> I didn't read any it's of been, this. It's either been in, it was either in the magazine or like an interview or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're, I, I they're, they're know... changing. They're kind of changing how light works. Okay. So it's still around. Yeah, I just thought they just got rid of light, and they're just like, once yeah. you get to forty, you just get the best stuff you can get. Yeah. yeah. Which essentially that's what Speaking it is. Speaking about but... ghosts, there's gonna be new shells, and uh, they're gonna have stats now. Yes. Stats and like like uh, you're more likely to or you get more glimmer from killing hive, or maybe a ghost will have intellect. Or, hmm. or a ghost will allow you to farm more materials. Yes. That's cool. From like, so that it actually has, you know, a meaning to it. Right. And um, I believe another thing is that your actual class items will be able to do stuff as well. Right. Like yeah. your capes and bonds yeah. and all that crap will be able to do stuff. Um. So how about? So that's what you're you? most excited about. Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. I feel like it'll be it'll be it's easier nice to, to level, level again. up. Yeah. Your other characters, yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. it just that that's gonna take away just the, just the you know grind of just trying to get you know reputation up to get these particular things just to level up and mm-hmm. stuff like yeah. you can actually get you know leveled up. Yeah. Granted, uh, hope I don't know if it's gonna be as easy as we're making it sound because you still have to get better gear. You yeah. Know, to be able to do. Speaking stuff. of easy, the new patrol area, the dreadnought, which mm-hmm. is the hive ship we're gonna be entering, which is very cool. Expansion. Yes. Yeah. Um, the patrol is not gonna be easy anymore. They're increasing dif- the difficulty on it. Really? Yeah, it's going to be I difficult like to go out and do things now. Nice. I, I heard there's be actually a mission where you have to go to the Dreadnought and like put down the markers. Yeah, to you do actually patrolling. put down the patrol missions. Yeah, for the Vanguard. Yeah. That's cool. That's my thing that I'm excited about the most is story. Yep, same here. Because um, it seems like, you know, based on reading the Game Informer issue, they're they're stepping it up mm-hmm. big time story wise. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they're there's having cutscenes again. I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cinematics. Character development. There's actually going to be a really good voice actor in there with Nolan North. Yeah, that's cool. Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, and he's going to be completely integrated from the beginning now. Yeah. You um, think they'll uh, make a joke about it in the Taken King DLC about how his so. voice is different? I hope so. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I'll never forget you, Peter Dinklage. I'll, I'll never forget him either. I just, there was, uh, you know. That wizard came from the moon. I know. I'll never forget that. I wish yeah. I would have bought Actually, the T-shirt they had. Did you ever see yeah. that shirt they made for? Them? Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. I wish I would have bought it. Yeah, it's like I would so totally rare throw now. a poster of that on my wall. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the story just sounds awesome, and I love how like there's like nine story missions, and then there's like other missions that sprint that mm-hmm. like spread out from there, like different quest lines. And ah, yeah. see, I don't know any like, of this. You only yeah. complete half the story by getting the max level. Once you get to forty, like 
a whole another like half of the game opens up. Dang, dude. Like, story wise, sounds so. awesome. Hmm. I know. It seems like a. I know he was, you know, they were asked, he, bleh, he was talking about if this was like a, a full nother, like a whole nother game. Mm-hmm. And he said it's kind of like almost there. Yeah. It's like there's definitely, you know, way more content than there was, you know, in the that taken. That makes the $40 the price game. point. It makes sense. Yeah. It yeah. makes it, you know, you know. If it's not a full game, but almost. Yeah. Seems right there. I'm probably How much is it? 60, like 40 bucks? 40, 40 bucks. Okay. But I'm going to pay 60 standard. for it to get the bonus stuff. Oh, yeah. Like the. I think they're exotic capes or class Ca- items. Yeah, class and items emotes. and emotes and That's shaders cool. and stuff like that. Which I'm not like sure that. what those are going to be. It's like a new thing. Yeah. I know... Oh, dude. I know this is pretty cool, too. But there's there's now these terminals you can go up to. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it'll tell you which shaders you have and which mm-hmm. ones you don't have and how to get them. Yeah. That's cool. you can cool. store them in there so you don't have to take up inventory Take up space. your inventory. Ooh. And you can also push, like, triangle and cycle through which weapon you want shown on your back in the tower. Yeah. So if you want, like, your sniper rifle on your back instead of your assault rifle, which mm-hmm. has always been... Or that can, new yellow horn that yeah, Zer sold around this with, week. Yeah, That's exactly. cool. Yeah, so I like little things like that. Yeah. And, not and you know, and, you know, I think you can also pick new emotes when they're there. You'll yeah. be able to switch between, you know, which ones you want to have and stuff like that. So definitely That's seems exciting. Like just adding a bunch of cool new stuff. Um, Not to mention all the new exotics that are coming. Yeah, that involve, like, actually have quest lines yeah. to them. Like I was reading I'm not here, sure if all of them will have quest lines, but I'm sure, like, a few are going to. Yeah, and I and I think exciting. when you get the exotic, it says they're going to have, like, a perk already on them that's, yeah. like, worth having. Mm. So you don't have to, like, you know, grind with it forever. They've right. already announced a few. I know one of the big ones was called the Sleeper Simulant. It's, yes. it's like a heavy pulse rifle, but you acquire, or well, I don't know if it's this one that you do this for, but there's one where you have to like patrol the dreadnought and collect like 50 pieces. Yeah, it just says that right here. Yeah. Um, and you, you put them yeah. together with like someone at the tower to form an exotic. Yeah. Dude, that's cool. Weapon. Yeah, I'm into that. The gunsmith it also like a has treasure a reputation now as well. Yeah. And you can uh-huh. actually take, like try out a gun yeah, and go like do you get a... bounties for it. Yeah, these are called foundry weapons. Yeah. And it's the there's three different foundries. There's Suros, Amalon, and Hake. And you can there's like it's like three different kinds of guns. The yeah. brands, like the Suros brand. Not it's not just gonna be Suros regime. There's right, like right. a whole brand of their kind of guns. Yeah. So these are all guns and they that all you act can collect and like use and stuff? Yeah. I also read amazing. that you're going to be finding like white and greens yeah, they're that be... are better than your legendaries you have <laughs> what? now. Yeah, because it's like they just want you to go through the process of like getting yeah, they, the they want you to leave going. your old stuff behind. Yeah. So the guy was like, as much as I love Fatebringer, it's my favorite gun. He's like, it's just time to kind of leave it behind. It's like, we want to give you new guns that make you not even want to use mm-hmm. the old ones because of how yeah. much better they are and stuff. So uh-huh. I'm excited for that. It's like, they've got a complete new armory, like from whites to blues to right. greens and stuff like that. So definitely sounds awesome. I know they're taking old strikes. I think they they're said taking three, a, few. a few of them. And they I think it's are... mostly the PlayStation exclusive ones. Really? Yeah. They're, they're in their, um, they're doing different encounters each time you play that yeah. with variations of regular or taken enemies on um, placements of turrets and ammo and voiceover dialogue and stuff. We okay. um, haven't talked about taken, have we? It's like the new race. The new of. race. It's essentially you know, the three races that we already have, but Four. they're like demified and like, if that's a word and like, they're like, zoom like a dark stuff. shadow over them. And yeah. Like controlled by orcs. Yeah. And they act differently. It's not just like a skin yeah, change. They have like all stuff. new abilities. Which yeah. Is cool. Another thing in re- in relation to stories I was talking about, your ghost can actually detect if there's like things around you and you yeah. can go up and like he'll give you lore. Like if there's a rock yeah. on the ground, you'll like do that and he's like, Oh, this was the rock of Hemoflorb, the guardian master who mm-hmm. slayed Uthrock with his legendary Usar rifle or something like <laughs> that. Usar. So um stuff I know like the that, example that kind of they fleshes gave out the was world. Like a dead cabal soldier or something. Yeah, that's the one they so. gave. Um, I forgot about that. I'm excited about that because I, I like little things like that. Since I'm so into the game, I just like knowing all the lore and all yeah. that good stuff. One thing that kind of bummed me out, and I know we talked about it in our Destiny 2 video, and I know they'll never do that, but I kind of wanted uh, I wanted Zer to kind of not be as cool as he is now. Yeah. Like, I don't, I just don't like him selling stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't. either. I would have rather had him sell just an Ingram every week yeah that would have been so much cooler like this week Zer selling helmet ingrams next week he's selling primary ingrams yeah i wish he just sold like fun items like 
you know what I mean? Just like, like fun little trinkets and yeah, stuff. Just like stuff they haven't even put in the game yet. Like I don't know, kind of like the pumpkin head we got at Halloween or something. Yes, yeah, that'd be cool. Cosmetics. I just uh, I because he's selling. Um, I wish he would just sell this stuff that uh. It's called the three coins item, mm -hmm. and nobody really knows how it works yet, but it boosts the likelihood of an exotic item dropping from your next boss fight. So nobody knows if it's like a buff that you just activate and it just goes away when you fight the next boss, or if it's, it's like, like an actual consumable. I hope it's yeah. the buff, because I don't want everybody popping... Cons That's just another thing that like when you're in orbit... You're like, let's go fight this boss, and like half the guys are like, oh no no no, I gotta go, I gotta go buy this first, and you yeah. gotta fly off to the tower and stuff. <laughs> it's just, oh, I hate stuff yeah. like that. Speaking of orbit, there's like a cool space battle at some point in the story. Really? That I saw. Like, you get to play? I don't know. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> I, it I highly like, doubt it, but it I know you can't cool. see it, but dude, this is one of the exotics, the yeah, sleeper the stimulant. Stimulant. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's the pulse cool. rifle. I believe yeah. so. It's a heavy pulse rifle. It's pretty. It's cool. like supposed to compete with Yowler one compete i really? want every exotic to compete with yellow horn like i want exotics to be like i feel like they're just a dime a dozen now yeah, some aren't that great yeah they're you're right i just i feel like since it's exotic like you need to work your butt off not just like go to zur and buy one yeah like it just it's they're not as cool it's like in diablo you would well in old diablo you would grind you would play you'd be on like your fourth playthrough and i'd like get one legendary and you'd like lose your mind yeah. and, like now it's just like we were playing on ps4 and like yeah. 30 minutes in i freaking got a legendary even then though it's exciting for them just to drop and yeah, yeah. Like, you can't just go buy them somewhere no or, or, that's like, true have a guy sell it to you yeah i like playing through nightfalls and destiny and like all right now's my chance to get one i just yeah. It's especially one the, it's one of the funnest parts in the game yeah it's opinion. like because when Zer sells like if he were to sell Yallerhorn like a couple of months ago everybody has it like cool like yep. who doesn't make him special exactly anymore. like I wanted to I wanted to walk around with Yallerhorn on my back and just people like looking at me because it's yeah. so rare to get and, yeah like or it's so hard to get uh -huh. like I feel like more so that could be the case as well. And by hard, I don't mean like, oh, beat this strike on like a hard mode. Like, right. I want something to like take. You got to like dedicate your life to get this. Going. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to be called a no life because I have this thing. Yeah. So yeah. I hope they would kind of, you know, fix that. But it seems like they're actually going the opposite way. They're like making it faster. They're kind of taking out the grinding elements to mm -hmm. make it more easier. So it seems like they're kind of straying away from more MMO stuff. I've never know. agreed with Zer. Yeah. Never liked this what he does his methods <laughs> yeah i don't like that guy I don't, I don't like what he's about i don't I like agree. those tentacles on his face <laughs> yeah i feel like at most he should sell in le random stuff like because it just you know just it's not fun when he sells something everybody's got it yep. like it's not cool I and mean, i see so. why they did it just to make everyone happy exactly so, so you but... always have a chance of buying an exotic i still go back to this point that they made before the game was even released he was like i want when you have a sick piece of gear i want people to be asking you how you got that and yeah. i want there to be a story and yeah. like what is cool about saying like i uh bought it i bought it Zer. from Zer. Yep. yeah and it's not like he even That's has cool. reputation that you have to like go through like hell yeah. to get this thing it's just like yeah. oh you played the weekly strike which is easy as sin yeah <laughs> and i bought this like yeah. it's nothing yeah. uh -huh. So I kind of it seems like they're they're not doing that, but whatever. I mean, the, the things that they've I'm mean, I'm sure we're missing a lot of stuff unless. Yeah. I mean, a, apart from that, I'm just my biggest takeaway is that I'm just like proud to be like a player of Destiny because Bungie's like <laughs> they're like stepping up. I'm proud. I'm proud. They're like I really feel like they're listening to the player base. Yeah, no doubt. Which and a I, lot of people claim they don't, but I really feel like they are with this yeah. next expansion. A lot of people claim nobody plays this game. Yeah. But um, as we were talking about earlier, when Zer sold y uh, Yallerhorn, the entire internet exploded on like Twitter and stuff. It was trending. Yallerhorn yeah. was trending for yeah. all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like even like sporting teams, I was seeing were like talking about Yallerhorn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like the Minnesota Vikings. I, sent, I think I sent you guys this picture. They had like yeah. a horn and they were talking about Yallerhorn. He's like, glad yeah. to know this is trending. Yeah, yeah that's hilarious. Yeah, like, glad to know we have fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> there's another. There's several other examples Oops. I can't think of. But yeah, but um, um this game's a big deal. I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. No. I've always wondered if, like, 
in a certain perspective, Destiny 1 has been one giant beta test for like the sequel to Destiny. Yeah. It's like no over doubt. time they figured out exactly what people like and what they mm-hmm. should do and like Destiny 2 will be like this huge awesome thing yeah, where we like played $60 for a giant beta. Yeah, like a, a like a year <laughs> year like a two year long beta to like to make the actual Destiny. I didn't even talk about the strikes. They say they're they're incorporating kind of like yeah. raid-ish materials into strikes now. So it's not just you're going in there and just shooting dudes forever right. like there's right. actual Bullet sponges. Yeah, there's actual activities to do within mm-hmm. the strikes now that i like that because because they said that they were very weary about doing pu- uh, matchmaking things that involved teamwork but yeah. they're like we've actually seen that you know it can happen so they're not as scared about that i still don't think they're going to do ever do matchmaking in raids uh-huh. i don't think they're ever going to do that but in terms of the strikes now that involve you know more teamwork and stuff they're they're going to allow that so that that's exciting because i always was kind of bummed with strikes because yeah there just wasn't anything to do besides yeah. shoot stuff guard stuff shoot stuff mm-hmm. fight the boss at the end and which some of them took forever to kill yeah exactly 10 minutes um but i, f- I feel like they did that for a purpose because they just wanted it to be easy for a guy with no mic to hop on and yeah. play yeah so i'm glad i'm glad they're you know making them like kind of little tiny raids almost mm-hmm. if they do that mm-hmm. um and we didn't even talk about the raid. We don't know nothing about the raid. I know. <laughs> they said it's it's going to push you more than any other raid, mm-hmm. which I feel like they're going to say that about every raid. Yeah. Which is fine. They should do and they that. They say this is their most, like, their best raid, too. Yeah. Like, their most expansive. Yeah. Hopefully, it's better than the Dark Below. I'm sure it will be. They've been um, working on it for a while. They didn't put one out in the House of Wolves just yeah. to do this one. Isn't there going to be, like, a Prison of Elders type of thing in this as well? Kind of, but it's going to be in patrol, I think. Uh, so you're gonna have to go in with a group of buddies. That's cool. And you, I'm like, you like summon things. I think it's what they're gonna have a live stream in a couple of weeks to Sweet. go over what it is. So, well, I'm excited for this. I hope that uh we can play it because we're gonna be at a hotel. So yep. hopefully the internet is good. Yeah. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, hope so. Hopefully, like probably the week that Destiny comes out, we're gonna be in like. Venezuela or something like that. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't Even actually complain a, about that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not ashamed to say I'm probably going to take like a week off of whatever I'm doing. Just Holy crap. Play. Yeah. Dang. We need to figure out how to take a week off or fall out when it comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Preston yeah, broke like, his leg. I'm throwing up. Oh, yeah. Me and Garrett have to take the same exact week off yeah. for fall out. <laughs>